The project file for every category of transitions includes different media files, such as sound effects and video preview. When transitions are imported into your project, a missing media notification window can appear. So you don't have this trouble, open the file with transitions and just resave it. Now Premiere Pro will remember the media files path. For these presets to work correctly, transition resolution must match the resolution of your project. Full HD resolution is used for these transitions by default. If your project has another resolution, for example 4K, you should do some simple steps. So import the transitions into your project. Right-click the sequence, change resolution, and select Sequence Settings. Here, set the resolution that complies with your project. In order not to change the resolution every time, you can save the file with certain resolutions like a preset. To do this, open Default File with Transitions. Then change the resolution and save this file with a new name. To preview the transition, open the folder with the Set and Switch to Icon view mode. When you move the cursor over the icon, the transition animation will be displayed. Now drag and drop the transition into your sequence, so that the cut is on the joint of two clips. If the layer with the stock preview is imported into your sequence instead of the transition, you should just change the settings on the timeline panel. First of all, Make sure that this switch is off. Then select the preset on the project panel and make sure that all the tracks are switched on. The first track should be off, as it takes unnecessary preview layer in preset sequence. Now everything is working fine. That is all for today. I do hope this package of transitions will save you time for video making.